All right, y'all boys, what's up, man? It is GMMA here, back here with another one. And today, we're going to be talking about what is next for Hamza Jamayev, man? What is, what's next for him, right? Let's talk about it. So, the Thursday, he gets into the, the quote-unquote absolute chaotic fight. I saw the footage, if y'all didn't see it. And it, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing, it's a little friendly scrap they you know why you i would whatever on that friday comes he gets his upon new opponent and kevin holland things like that and because he missed weight by seven and a half pounds i want to elaborate that on uh, a little bit he says the doctors told him to stop cutting weight doctors just don't step in and say hey stop cutting weight unless you say something now i know a lot of people want to be like well with max holloway they did it for max the context max holloway took the could uh, the fight against uh could be more short notice the commission obviously was monitoring his weight because it was a very short notice fight to see if he he can continue or are they going to cancel it he couldn't continue so they canceled it that's how short notice fights work comes out you might have the full camp doctors are not going to be checking up on him saying hey bro you're all right they're, they're not going to be doing it you had a full camp bro when you get when you weigh in, you weigh in. Hamza Chamayev went to doctors and and told him and told them, I can't cut the weight. And they say they checked on him and they say, okay, you can't do it. That's what happened. Doctors just don't come up to you. They, they, that's not how it works, man. Come on now. We was born that night, not last night, right? He says that completely untrue statement. The kind of erect, the, the kind of like justify why he missed weight by seven and a half pounds. It don't work like that though right so then um he does that he does the whole fiasco of flicking off the crowd and shit this this it's like this guy man you know and i'm gonna be honest he did himself no favors this week he just took l after l after l after l he's not getting the next title shot i hope y'all notice if Balil muhammad beats sean brady he's getting the next title shot 100 percent. he's getting the next title shot Hamza probably if 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 Hamza can fight, see the, the welterweight division is so interesting, but I don't think Hamza took himself out of the race for next in line because it hit him beat it was literally an alley oop. The UFC set him up to fight Nate, someone who's very popular to shoot to shoot him into superstar, so they can have this undefeated guy who mauled Nate Diaz and all these other people this hungry guy he runs through everybody unstoppable force fighting a champion of the division that's how they were gonna set it up and he missed weight by seven and a half pounds now the ufc they can't trust you can they they can't trust you to make weight now because what if they set up an event for, for the welterweight championship and he fucking misses weight by 10 pounds the champion not gonna fight you bro i'm so they not if i'm the champion i wouldn't I wouldn't fight you, nigga. You know what I mean? The, now you're untrustworthy of making weight, of being professional. And this goes back to my point of if you, bro, stop cutting 20 to 30 pounds to have a size advantage. Just fight at the way you feel most comfortable at. Like when people make fun of Darren Wynn, I don't have a problem with Darren Wynn. I feel like he should, yeah, he should, be, he should get into a little bit more shape, but he feels comfortable at 185. He feels comfortable. Same with DC. He felt comfortable at 205 and heavyweight. Hey, bro, more power to you. You know what I mean? But Hamza would have, I would have had a little bit more sympathy for Hamza if he missed weight by two pounds, three pounds max. He missed weight by seven pounds. You don't get no pass from that. You don't get no excuse from that, right? And uh, Chris Barnett missed weight. He, he's the only person who missed weight on this card that I genuinely sympathize for because of the circumstances, right? He lost his wife and, and things like He had pers real personal issues going on, so And he only missed weight by a pound, so. It's heavyweight, but still. He, he only missed weight by a pound. I'm not worried about that, right? But Hamzad, he did himself no favors. He's not going to be fighting next for the title. He beat Kevin Holland, a, a striker who's preparing for a striker who, who 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 now has to fight a fucking grappler on one day's notice. That was, I, I mean, we kind of knew that was going to happen. Honestly, I'm going to be honest. I kind of had a feeling. I, I ain't had no feeling. I knew it was going to happen, but I was so pissed that this motherfucker missed weight. I wanted Kevin Holland to win so bad. So bad. Now, 
what the fuck do they do with Hamza Chemaev? You gotta put the, this is what they do. He, instead of him fighting for the title next, he's going to have to fight the guy he was avoiding. If y'all don't know, the UFC offered him the Kobe Covington fight for UFC 279, and he turned it down for Nate, which is understandable. You don't wanna fight Kobe. You know, Kobe's a tough fight. But you can't say you smash everybody, smash everybody, and then and, 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 I love saying that, smash everybody, and you, and you don't fight Kobe. So they're, they're, they're eyeing Kobe and Nate, that's gonna happen. Jorge and, and Burns are gonna fight, right? And then you got the two guys with the title. Hamza would not have, Hamza could have sat out until Usman and Leon 3 happened. Now he has to fight again. And now kind of it puts him in a turf predicament because if Gilbert Burns win, Gilbert Burns can say, hey, bro, I just be a ring contender. He hasn't fought yet. He hasn't he hasn't beat anyone ranked uh, recently. He beat Lee Jin Leung. That was his last ranked opponent. And that was like, what, 11? He hasn't beat anybody crazy uh, good. You know what I mean? I just beat the number seven guy or whatever over here. My foot all his ring. I think I deserve a rematch. Now what if he lose? Now what if he loses to Kobe? Now that gives Gilbert Burns the leverage to say, "Hey, I can either go fight for the title or I can rematch you." That that's where he fucked himself at. If he just would have made weight, he would not be in this predicament, man. So to all my Hamz Chimaya fans, bro, he has nobody to blame but himself. He's not getting the next title shot. I just want to. I, I want that to be clear now. I think if Gilbert Burns, it's going to be between Gilbert Burns and Bilal Muhammad. I think Bilal Muhammad may have a little bit more leverage over Gilbert Burns because Bilal has a win streak and he's fighting the f damn near the dark horse of the division and Sean Brady. So if he wins that, I think Bilal Muhammad has a good case of, of fighting for the belt. All right. But um, I don't know. We'll see. But that's my thoughts on the Chamaya thing. Y'all let me know what's next for Hamza, man. I, I don't know. It's like fuck bro like you, you just constantly fuck yourself over but hey it is what it is man y'all boys like comment subscribe share if you know join the family join the gang i'll see y'all next time man peace out and prosperity love every single one of y'all do something productive with your day beating your meat it's not productive y'all boys let me know down below in the comments what y'all thought about us ufc 279 in general and what y'all think about this situation right here with hamza chamayev what's next for is it kobe is it a title shot? I don't know. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I'll see your boys next time. It's been Jamie Manor.